Poppy played as a fighting robot from Seoul, South Korea. It has been nicknamed the Korean Tombstone, and this is why. <laughs> Today you will have the opportunity to build your very own replica of this fighting robot that you can put against your Hexbug toys. In order to make your model Orbi Blade, you will need scissors, sellotape, a yellow marker, a black marker, a ruler, Cardboard, preferably white cardboard that hasn't already been used. And you will need to find these instructions now. They are free, uh, you can just follow the link in the description or you can pause the video uh, at the photo that I'm going to put in just now. There we go. Uh, for the spinning weapon, uh, I'm going to use a fidget spinner. Uh, you can draw out your own spinning bar if you want. If you don't have a fidget spinner, then that's fine. That will work as well. It's just easier to use a fidget spinner, and it's more fun as well, in my opinion. So, if you are able to find one of these, then I suggest that you use it. That is all that you will need. To start off with, we are going to be making the central bit of Orby Blade. So, to make this, you're going to need to draw out this main frame piece twice. One will be the top panel and the other will be like the base panel, so you need to draw that out twice. You need to draw this front armour piece out, and two of these internal side pieces, and of course the back plate. So that is all that you will need to start off with. I've already drawn them all out and cut them here. So of course we've got the top and bottom panel. I only coloured the top panel because no one really sees the bottom panel anyway. Of course it's got the Orbi Blade writing there and the circle as well. Um, the internal sides are going to have to be yellow. Make sure that they're facing opposite like this. Um, and this one's a bit messy, sorry about that. Uh, the back plate, of course, is also going to be yellow. And the front armour that's going to be bent around is going to be yellow as well. So, those are what the pieces should look like to begin with. Okay, so I've started to put this together. The internal sides obviously go at the sides here. And the back panel goes at the back with the shorter end facing downwards. The top panel attaches to the top of the structure like so, and the front armour is bent around it. And that is the main frame of Orbi Blade. Done. The fidget spinner will go in here later, and the drive pods will be attached to the sides and the wedge on the back. That is why we need to make it first, so that everything else can attach onto it, like a jigsaw. So next, we will be making the drive pods. Now, in order to make the drive pods, you've got to make uh, the left drive pod, bottom and top, and the right drive pot, top and bottom as well. Uh, you will need to draw two of each of these rectangles. Um, they're going to be like the sides of the drive pod, and you can pretty much see where they're going to correspond. Uh, they're just going to attach the top and bottom together and make it a 3D shape. I haven't drawn out these pieces individually to show you because it's pretty simple to see where they go. Um, the rectangles, of course, correspond to their correct length at each side of the drive pod and we end up with a left and a right. Now in order to colour these correctly you need to make the black, the rectangles black and the back rectangle yellow. Uh, the top of the drive pod is mostly yellow with some black markings on it. You can look at the real Orbi Blade for more detail there. And the inside uh, where these are going to sit next to the mainframe is not really coloured but you can colour that just in case. Once you have attached your drive pods to the side of the chassis, you are ready to add your fidget spinner or cardboard spinning bar in. And make sure that it spins freely and uh, it's not touching the chassis in any way before you actually secure it to the robot. And as you can see, it's looking pretty good so far, it's beginning to look like Orbi Blade. However, it is not completely done yet. If you look on the instructions, you have to draw out the wedge, the rear wedge, the massive rear wedge. And this is what it should look like. It's got the Orbi Blade uh, calligraphy there, and of course the pattern. And that is going to be attached right on the back of Orbi Blade. After you attach the rear wedge, your Orbi Blade is done. And I'm very proud of how this one turned out. I've also added a self-writer here, just for the extra aesthetic look. Um, 
Orbi Blade never really used a self writer, so it's not that necessary, but I just like to add it anyway to be a perfectionist. Now, Orbi Blade here is in scale with the Hexbug Tombstone on Witch Doctor. Uh, it's got a decent scale with the Hexbug RC models, and the weapon on the front obviously moves as well. So I'm very proud of it. Thank you very much for watching, and if you've attempted to make one yourself, please, please, please leave a link in the comment section down below so that I can see what it looks like, because I would love to see if any of you have also attempted to make it uh, using my instructions. So, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, then please leave a thumbs up and subscribe, and good night, everyone.